it's kind of interesting to note that this operating activity, you would think that you can go to the income statement and just hit your little button up here, changing it to a cash based system. And you should basically tie out to, to an income statement that is on, you know, basically the direct method of the statement of cash flows. It's not perfect. So if I go over here and say, run it and I check it out down here, then I got a, a negative 190412. And over here, I've got uh, 1896.02. So there's a little bit of a difference between that, but you know, you can, you, that's the general idea. This operating activity is in essence, kind of giving you a cash flow basis as opposed to an accrual basis of kind of like the income statement, but it's giving you a reconciliation format. You could take your income statement and remember, you don't want to use this toggle button to kind of feel like you're running a cash based system because that will be dependent on whether you're using accrual forms, meaning are you using an invoice or just recording revenue with a deposit, a bank deposit form or a sales receipt? Are you using a bill form or just recording expenses with the expenses? But uh, if you use this properly and you then, and you're then thinking, okay, I know I'm on an accrual system or whatever. I've entered my data. Now I'm just, I want to see the difference if I was to switch over to a cash based system, which would in essence be kind of like the first section of the statement of cash flows, but on a direct method. And that can give you an, an interesting, you know, look at your, at your performance basically on a cash flow system, although it's not perfectly tied out to uh, what we have over here on the operating activities, possibly because of some of the play between what's on what's on the books up top versus the investing and financing activities. But that's that'll give you a, a general idea. So in summary, just realize that your major financial statements are the balance sheet and the income statement. That's how I would think of it. And you're inevitably going to have someone ask you, but what about the statement of cash flows? It's also a major financial statement. And you're going to say, yes, it is a major financial statement, but it's actually kind of constructed from oftentimes the balance sheet and the income statement. Therefore, I'm always going to look at the balance sheet and the income statement first when I'm building my data input to check the impact on the balance sheet and the income statement. And then if that's correct, then I should be able to construct, in essence, my statement of cash flow or QuickBooks have it constructed for me uh, from it. And also just remember the statement of cash flows constructed from QuickBooks may not be perfect, right? It reconciles, it ties out. But if you have complex financing transactions and investing transactions and buying equipment and disposing of equipment, oftentimes depreciation uh, is kind of an issue when you buy and sell equipment, you might have to get a little bit more detail to really hone down and get a proper statement of cash flows, but QuickBooks gives you a good, a good baseline.